Hi everybody, it's me Beth and today I wanted to talk about my thoughts and feelings regarding the importance of Pijet, which is the alternate form of Toadette that was shown off during the Nintendo Direct last week with the Super Mario Brothers Deluxe game that's coming out. So in the trailer it's revealed Toadette replaces the Blue Toad and when she grabs the special mushroom she transforms into Peach it, which looks like Princess Peach except there's pig she has pigtails and has more of a mushroom theme going on but the game the gameplay aspect looks like she would be the princess she be Princess Peach but since Princess Peach is probably kidnapped we need a Princess Peach so Peach it now lore wise this kind of gives a shocking what does this mean? What is Peach? What is what is Peachet? What is Toadette? What's going on? Holy crap! Hergity blurskidirskidi. And today I wanted to discuss an idea that I have regarding lore-wise what Peachet's role is. Now this obviously is a really big theory and can easily be disproven, especially if Miyamoto's just like I thought it looked cool, so that's why. So. Here's my theory, or whatever, about what Peachette's role is in the lore. Peachette is a regent, or a regent-like position for the Toads, and specifically Toadette, when Princess Peach is kidnapped. Now a regent is a term of the person who's in charge while the princess or prince is out of commission, too young to actually ru rule, or something happened to him. So the regent's kind of like the substitute princess or substitute prince. Hence why England had the regency era, is when the era happened where the regent ruled. Um, and the Mushroom Kingdom does seem to take a lot of influence from European fashion, European history, you know, the princessy kind of look and stuff, so it would kind of make sense for them to have a regent or regency type situation. And the Mushroom Kingdom is also a kingdom, and there's lots of other kingdoms in the Mario universe, like Saras Saras Sarasa, Sarasa, Daisy's Kingdom, and probably, well, there's New Dong City, and like different other places that have rulers and stuff and probably there's behind the scenes politics and stuff that needs to get handled that Peach probably does when she's not being kidnapped or baking a cake. So perhaps, and this is my idea, that maybe the first couple of times Peach got kidnapped and stuff, the Toads were freaking out because, you know, Mario's off saving the princess, we just have Toadsworth and Luigi can't do anything because he'd have to get married to Peach and that makes things really awkward for Mario Mario later. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because you don't really want to be like, thank you for saving our princess, Mario. Um, it's okay if your brother marries her, so that way when she gets kidnapped again we can have a ruler and stuff. No? Cool? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, Peach is like, I really don't want to marry right now. Or along those lines, so they have a region. And since Toadsworth shows when it's shows up when it's convenient, it would make sense that they'd kinda need a princess in place when like the royal people show up and are like, Hey, we want to talk to Princess Peach about this policy or we want we want to ask her about this thing and or we want to have tea with her so probably through the magic of wishing upon a star whatever plot they'll use for the Super Mario Brothers you I mean they've had magic cat trees so magic mushrooms that turn you into princesses is perfectly reasonable right right um so Toadette becomes Princess Princess Peach as Peachet and she does the ruling kind of the basically being the regent while Princess Peach is stuck 
just hanging out with Bowser and, you know, it's like, I don't want to do this, Bowser. I r really have other things to do. And Bowser's like, love me! <laughs> or, you know, love me, Princess Peach! <laughs> you know, and then Mario's off saving the day. And then when Peach is rescued, everybody's happy, Toadette can get rid of the power-up, and then she can go back to doing whatever Toadette does. And that, if that is the case, where Toadette is the regent for the Mushroom Kingdom, that would actually be really cool because then you could explore kind of more of the Mushroom Kingdom, the Mario universe, kind of be like, okay, this is kind of cool. So, you know, this is how the royal system works. We have Princess Peach who rules the kingdom when she's MIA or KBB kidnapped by Bowser, you know, Toadette, Toadette as Peachette handles it and they probably have some story they tell to the other royals like, oh, this is Peachette. She is Princess Peach's identical twin sister. She is the regent. She totes. She totes real. She totes real. <laughs> and then, you know, Peachette handles the stuff that goes on while Princess Peach is kidnapped and shenanigans ensue. And that would also be kind of cool if later on down the line they do a Mario game where it's like, Princess Peach got kidnapped by Bowser, but then Peachette got kidnapped. And then you can kind of do like what they did with uh, the Paper Mario series in which, you know, you have a little mini arc in Bowser's Lair where you play as Princess Peach, and then you could have a little mini arc where you play as Peachette undermining the bad guys thing. I do kind of hope that we get to see more of Peachette because the costume does look kind of cool. And I do like that, you know, Toadette gets some love. <laughs> she gets to come forth and kick some butt. And now all we need now is Waluigi to show up and smash and we'll be, it'll be the golden year of Mario. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that, that's my thoughts and idea on what Peachette's role in lore is going to be. Feel free to leave your own ideas. If you think that it's just a fun gimmick that really has no aspect on the lore, there's a different aspect of lore that's going to happen. Uh, thoughts, theories, suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.